want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about Joe Biden quitting the race and endorsing Kamala Harris. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Joe Biden has finally quit the race. He's basically endorsing Vice President Harris, and she should take the place of him being a presidential nominee. This will keep the staff together. This will keep all the money together and they won't have to start a campaign all over. She can go out and basically get someone like a Mark Warner from Virginia who is old and old school, old school white man who can basically get her over the finish line. But I truly think a lot of people are underestimating Kamala Harris in the Democrat party. I believe that she has a 50-50 shot of winning this election. Because within the next four months, there are so many twists and turns that can happen with Donald Trump. We don't know how he's gonna be attacked in the next four months. But one thing Kamala Harris will have on her side, she will have the media. She will have the Democrat party. She will get a large majority of women who might be angry that Hillary Clinton didn't win in 2016. So she got a lot of things going her way at the beginning of this election now that she is the torch barrier. Trump still has to get over some hurdles. A lot of people are saying that this may basically give Trump the election. I don't agree. I think Trump still has some problems in the in the Rust Belt. I think those states are pretty difficult for him to win. This might put Georgia back in place. This might go ahead and go ahead and put also Nevada back in simply because it's not Joe Biden. People wanted a younger person. Now they have the vice president. And we have to see how she carries herself for the next four months. We have seen her over the past three and a half years. I'm not going to say they were the best three and a half years, but maybe she can step up to the plate and lead the Democrats to a comeback victory. It's possible because you got to understand she's connected to the deep state. They want the war in Ukraine. They want everything going on in Israel. Everything that they have going on right now, she will support them. Donald Trump is diametric on the other side of the ledger. They will pick the person who keeps their team on the field. And that's what Kamala Harris will do. And I'm going to tell black people, y'all know what she's about. She's going to go around with the AKA thing and all that other stuff. But she don't already told you she just ain't doing nothing for black folks. She don't already told y'all how she felt when she was putting black men in prison. Oh, she going to run on that because she needs those moderate white males. She needs a small percentage of them to get her over the finish line. And I'm going to tell you right now, she's going to get some of the best Obama people behind her to try and push her over the finish line. But I'm telling you right now, for those who sit near saying, well, we got four years, I don't believe it. I think that Trump has some serious problems. And we don't know if the judge in New York, Marshawn, on September 11, is not going to put Trump in jail. Hey, I wouldn't put nothing past these Democrats in the deep state. They have tried everything. And I'm going to tell you this also. If you don't think they're going to play with them numbers in this election, Something is wrong, which I told people last night. They got people out here talking about a landslide. I said he should be glad if he get 271. That's one over winning the electoral college. Because these people play to win. Now, I don't know how she, Kamala is going to get everybody together. Because you know that Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and some of those other Democrats don't want her. AOC said it. She said what was happening in the room, and I believe her. I know they don't want her because they don't believe that she can step up to the plate. But we don't know 
after four years, people can make a change. They can get better. This might be her time. So we have to understand this race can change. The excitement can change. The Democrat Party can feel better. I don't know. But I do know that the Republicans right now are standing on a strong foot. The Republicans are united. They believe that they can win this race behind Donald Trump. And Kamala Harris is going to have to convince people that four more years, the economy is not doing well. People mortgages, their rent, their car notes is much higher. She's going to have to make Trump into the boogeyman. She better keep talking Project 2025. I don't know what the hell that is, but she better keep talking about that because they can't run on Joe Biden's record. Anybody that tells you that you would run on Joe Biden's record, you got to be a damn fool. All them illegal immigrants running over the border. So you got to make Trump the focal point of this election. But now that he's been a, attempted assassinated, that's hard to do. You can't say the things that you want to say. So we'll see how this thing goes. But she has a 50-50 shot. She can win this thing. And I wouldn't be surprised if she won the election. They love somebody like an Obama. She's one of those type. She will do what the deep state tells her to do. She will carry out their agenda. And they know it. You get Trump, you get a wild card. He won't carry out their agenda. So she has an excellent shot of winning. And I hope she gets some black people in there to tell her, if you want black folks to vote for you, if you want all 100%, you say, I'm supporting reparations. You do that, you ain't got to worry about winning. You ain't got to worry. But you got to sit there and tell black people to their face, you know that this is how it's going to be. If you're not going to do that, you're going to lose a certain percentage of the vote to Trump. There's a lot of black men who ain't going to like you because you got a white man. I'm going to tell you that too. So you deep behind enemy lines. And Trump ain't going to be scared to debate her. After seeing what Tulsi Gabbard did to her. So we'll see what happens. It's going to be a good election. Because the Democrats is going to pull it all out now. The money's going to start coming in. Everything. I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. Hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.